Hey guys, what's up? It's Anime Observer back with another anime review. This time, I'm going to be talking about Berserk, the Egg of the King. And it is the first of, so far, three movies in this series. I don't know if there will be another one. Uh, the third one actually came out the first of this month, which is February. And so, I've seen the first one now. And get started. So, this, if you don't know what Berserk is, um, basically, uh, the main character goes by Guts, and he is a mercenary in medieval times, and he just goes around and, you know, he's a mercenary for kingdoms at war. And in this movie, he starts out basically just you know, fighting in this huge battle and everything, and kind of a... He, he's doing really well, obviously, I and mean, he's the main character, so he's got to be, like, god-tier. And, uh, so he's, like, running around, cutting everybody up. Then there's, like, a David and Goliath kind of scenario where uh, this huge guy's standing there, and nobody wants to fight him because he will just tear everyone to shreds. This guy comes up, like, out of nowhere, and it just destroys him. So... After that, you know, uh, he's being pursued, I guess, by this mercenary uh, clan who's supposed to be, like, the very best. Just, uh, like, people hire them when they have to win battles, win wars. So, they're, like, the elite. And, uh, basically, these guys come and try to recruit him, I guess, but everything doesn't go exactly as planned, but... Uh, anyway, he, you know, winds up working for them, and this isn't spoilers, because this is, like, the basic premise of the movie. So, he starts working for these guys, and, uh, he's supposed to be, like, the boss's right-hand man, essentially, and he goes and does, like, everything that he tells him to. And, uh, this is definitely not for kids. <laughs> it, it's quite violent. There's, uh, lots of guts. Uh, there's some, you know, nudity and more adult type themed things, so definitely not for kids. Uh, you know, kind of like Berserk, like the manga, but I think the manga is a lot more adult than this. So, uh, anyway, what I thought of this, um, I loved it. It's fantastic. Uh, the, all the combat and things were flawless. I, I didn't see any problems in the animation. Um, you know, most uh, bigger movies and things, anime movies, they're not completely in the normal, like, anime series style. They'll use some 3D rendering along with it. Well, this uses that too in larger battles because obviously it's easier to have everything moving around and things at the same time and have that fluid kind of motion. But in some movies, this is like a huge contrast to each other, and in this one, I, I felt like it blended pretty nicely, actually. Uh, there, there wasn't like that big uh, change when you look at like the anime part and then the 3D rendering. It's not like a huge, huge difference or anything, so that just made it a lot more enjoyable to me. It looks fantastic. Um, the the blood and everything it's not like too terribly over the top but there is a lot of violence which I also enjoy it's it's straight action for the first probably 20 30 minutes of the movie or so there's like just a lot of killing there's not even that much dialogue um, overall the movie actually is mostly uh, combat which a lot of people will like. And, you know, it does have a story. It's not just completely mindless killing. Um, but the main character is known to just be a brute who solves his problems with his fists, I guess, or his sword, as it may be. And, uh, he's... Actually, he's not the most powerful powerful person in the movie, which is a pretty refreshing uh, thing to see, considering most anime, the main character is always just God above everyone else. So, it's nice to see that he's actually not the most powerful, but he's still, like, completely above everyone else. There's no way anybody else could kill him except for, like, one or two people. So, there's still that. 
but uh, I don't know. Overall, the story and everything is just really good, but the way it goes, I can't go into too much detail without uh, being afraid of spoiling things for you. Uh, also, I don't think this movie is in English, because it just came out last year. Along with the second one, they both came out last year, and then the third one came out this year, so they're making them really quickly. But, uh, I don't think it's in English yet, so if you want to watch it, you're probably going to have to do it illegally. And, yes, I will admit, I watched it illegally, and, oh well, because I couldn't really do anything else. So, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a great movie. Definitely recommend it. Probably about a 8 out of 10. I'll, I'll say 8 because it wasn't perfect. Uh, it, it wasn't enough story base for my, uh, my personal taste. But I really, really, really liked the action. And the story that was provided wasn't bad. It was just kind of minimalized because the show, or this movie in particular, I don't know too much about the actual series... Um, but the movie seems to be more or less just based on combat, which, you know, as I've said, is still fairly enjoyable. Actually, it's still really enjoyable, but, uh, story makes things better, my opinion. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all I can say about this. Uh, go watch it. If, uh, I mean, shout out to Anime 4 PSP, because they have a ton of anime series and things to, you know, download. Uh, they don't have to be played on PSP. You can still play them from your computer, but it's better for me because I have both. So, definitely recommend it. And, uh, I'm still doing my giveaway for when I get 50 subscribers. I'm at 31 right now, I think. So, uh, you know, 19 more people subscribe, and then a little while later, I will give away the first five volumes of Get Backers. And that's about all for this time. So uh, I'll see you guys when I do my next anime review. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, Anime Observer, signing